Hello everybody, this is Steven from Guild Launch, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the new WYSIWYG functionality in the forums. Um, we haven't just added a WYSIWYG editor, we've actually improved uh, a lot of other functionality around how content's created in the forums. So, we're using the newest version of TinyMCE, uh, this is used by all the major CMSs, uh, it's one of the best WYSIWYG editors that there is uh, available today. Uh, but we've also added functionality to that, so beyond just the usual bold and italic and lists and alignments and all of those things, we focused on improving emoticon support, improving embed support, uh, improving Im image support, and um, support for things like YouTube, Twitch streams, and, and other types of video and content, uh, such as the ability to embed Google, Google Spreadsheets from Google Docs. So, I'm just going to show you how, how a couple of these things work. Um, we still have the custom emoticon support from your admin area, so you can add these, but we've also included a far wider range of emoticons from uh, various places around the web, including some, including some seasonal ones, so you got some Christmas stuff, uh, including, you know, South Park icons. Um, you know, some of these get a little silly, but it's just a way to, to add some fun to your forum. Uh, in addition, if anyone out there has emoticon packs that they would like us to add, uh, we can do that much easier in the new system. So, the next thing is, is YouTube embeds. Um, we've improved them significantly. So if you've got a YouTube video, uh, then you, let's see, we'll take this YouTube video, we're going to take its URL, and then we can click this media button. And all we've got to do is paste that in here, and it will embed the video. And from here, you can resize and do all of this and when you submit the post the spotlight. I can include a subject so when you submit the post there's your video uh, so a much easier process than previously and you can much more easily resize this video so it was too big for the area that you're displaying it and you want to make it smaller there you go uh, it provides a lot more control in a much more easy manner images and anything of that type works in the exact same manner in addition we've improved item hover support so you can click this item hover and you can see all the item hovers that are available and some of them are link based so we're using the scripts for item hovers from various sources like um, Zam and Curse and, and all these other places to provide link based hovers so the ones that say link next to them use a link to to do it and, they're, and the pop-up will just ask you for the link however if you put any link in your forum post the link will show a hover so this is really just a, a handy way to add it. Um, there is some additional functionality for sites that provide searches like World of Warcraft. So in the World of Warcraft search, you can type any part of an item name and it will actually search for it. And uh, you can then add things like, you know, this is my item. And then when you add the hover link, it comes in as, as that. So. as you go through here you can do other sorts of things so if you know any part of the name you can find it the other thing is if it, an item has the same name but different eye levels it's going to show you the eye level and let you choose it so that you get the exact hover that you want um, and you can make sure that Wowhead and other sites actually have the item in the first place so that's the major major new functionality. Uh, there's also some additional improvements. So 
one of the things is that we actually support anchors in the forums now, like named anchors, so that you can link down your post if you'd like. There's also much improved table support, so you can just add tables in and you get a nice a nice view. This is some um, text. And here is other text. And then you can even, for instance, take this video and drag it into one of those. Uh, you know, the sky's the limit. Uh, you have a much more robust HTML uh, support. In addition, there is alignment options. And so you can align images and things of that nature. In addition, you've got things like background color, foreground color, and that can be applied across a wide range. You've also got undo, paste, copy, and cut options here. The paste option actually automatically removes special word formatting that used to uh, mess up certain things. Uh, you have block quotes, and there's a wider range of formatting options. So there's headings, uh, which is primarily what you should use, but there's also some of the newer section article block quote. Uh, those sorts of things, and then text sizing, and then some special styling like spoilers. Um, we'll be building out the special styling further in the future. So that's the new WYSIWYG. We hope you all enjoy it. If you've got any feedback, please visit the support forums, let us know, and enjoy.